All right, we are live. Okay, great. Hi everyone, this is Miss Christine. We're gonna have story time today. Um, it's a little bit different than what we've done in the other weeks. We are live streaming on YouTube so that some of our friends who um, are not with us today can watch it later or they can watch it live right now. So it looks a little different where I can't see you and you can't see each other, but that's okay. I know that you're all here and you guys can hear me and so that you'll get to see all the fun stuff for story time. Okay. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start with a song. This is the tune to um, Twinkle Twinkle. So I know you guys all know that. It goes like this. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now it's time to have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so. Then we'll bend and touch our toes. Reach down there. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now it's time to have some fun. All right, good job you guys. So I brought one of my friends with me today. I'd like you to meet him. He lives in this little box here. You guys seen one of these boxes? Can you see him? There's a little bit of him. What do you think he is? Is that an animal? What do you think? That's some interesting looking fur, right? Well, let's see. Let me see if he wants to come out, okay? I'm gonna ask him. Let's see, his name is Seymour. Seymour, would you like to come out and meet some of my friends? Oh, he says yes, so I'm gonna let him come out. Here he is. Oh my gosh, what is he? What does he look like to you guys? He is a monster. He's a friendly monster. Yes, you are, Seymour. He's a friendly monster. He's so happy to see you guys. Everyone, can you say hi to Seymour? Say hi, Seymour. So Seymour was wondering, he had some questions for you, so he's going to tell me. Oh, he was wondering what you all had for breakfast. He had some slimy bugs for breakfast. I know, I bring him some slimy bugs to the library. Can you believe that? Ugh. That's what he likes though. So he wants to know what you guys have for breakfast. In fact, he's gonna sniff around and see if he can smell something. Mm. He smells cereal. Did anybody have cereal today? Yes, what else does he smell? Mm. He smells pancakes. Did any of you have pancakes today? Yeah, some of you did. Let's see if he can smell something else. Mmm, he smells toast. Did anybody have toast for breakfast? Yeah, ooh, he gets excited. He likes toast a lot. Mm. What else would you like to ask your friends? Oh, he wants to know where you guys live. He lives at the library. Where do you live? Do some of you live in Schaumburg? Do some of you live in Elk Grove Village? Yes. Do some of you live in a house? Yes. Or maybe an apartment? Yes. Well, Seymour lives at the library in that box I showed you. So he is very warm and cozy all of the time. Let's see, he has another question for you. Uh, Seymour has orange hair, right? You see all his orange hair, he even has some little spikies. He wants to know what color hair you have. He sees some brown hair, some blonde hair, some black hair. Yep, and he looks at my hair and he's like, oh yeah, I have gray hair. Hmm, okay, he has one more question. He wants to know if you like to shake, because he really likes to shake and dance, because he really likes to dance. Is that what you guys like to do? Yes, all right. Well, Seymour and all of you friends have a lot of things in common. All right, Seymour's gonna go back into his box and listen to our stories today. So let's say bye, Seymour. See you next time. All right. So let's start our story time. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. 
If you want to hear a story, a funny monster story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. All right, good job. Our first book today is called Monster Mess. Here we go. <clears throat> There's our first page. Yawn, yawn. I need to go to sleep. Tiptoe, tiptoe, around the house I creep. Crash, crash. I knock down two big chairs. Stomp, stomp, climb up the kitchen stairs. Along the floor I crawl. Zzz, someone is down the hall. Sleeping, maybe. Ouch, ouch, I step on blocks and screws. Pew, pew, what smelly socks and shoes. Peek, peek, I look underneath the bed. Yikes, yikes, a rubber snake head. Ick, ick, spilled some juice on the sheet. Clean, clean, I'll make the room so neat. Stuff, stuff the clothes into the drawers. Whoosh, whoosh, I spray as someone snores. Sweep, sweep, the musty, dusty floors. Bang, bang, slam, shut the closet door. Sniff, sniff, the room smells fresh and sweet. Yawn, yawn, I think I'll rest my feet. Now look at how many feet that monster has, so many. Ring, ring, it's time to start the day. Giggle, giggle, a monster's come to stay. Let's play. Oh, I'm sure some of your moms would love it if a monster came in the middle of the night and cleaned up the house. That would be excellent, wouldn't it? Okay, now I have some little monsters here, five little monsters to be exact. There's one. Actually, let's put him on my thumb. One, two, three. This is always a little tricky to do it with one hand. Four. My monster is blue. And my last one is white. There they are. Five little monsters sitting on the floor. The orange one says, let's knock on someone's door. The green one says, let's act a little scary. The red one says, why are we so hairy? The blue one says, I hear a funny sound. The white one says, there's no one else around. Then whoosh, went the wind and eek, someone said, and the five little monsters ran right under the bed. I think somebody scared the monsters. That's usually the other way around, right? All right, our next book is called Monsters Don't Eat Broccoli. I guess they don't like to eat their vegetables. The waitress in this restaurant just doesn't have a clue. Monsters don't eat broccoli. How could she think we do? And here she brings them, two big plates of broccoli. We'd rather snack on tractors. Or a rocket ship or two. Or tender trailer tidbits.
or wheelie steely stew. Kind of looks like the monsters like to eat toys. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Monsters don't eat broccoli. Monsters don't eat broccoli or artichokes or greens. We can't abide alfalfa sprouts or slimy lima beans. But redwoods are delectable. Those are big trees. And boulders, what a treat. Like some big rocks, look. And a fountain so refreshing in this dreadful summer heat. Fee, fo, fi, fum, monsters don't eat broccoli. We're crazy for construction. We crave our fish and chips. But monsters don't eat broccoli. It will not pass our lips. You cannot force us monsters to eat the vegetables we hate. Let humans have the garden. We will eat the garden gate. Monsters don't eat broccoli. Monsters love a picnic on a blanket in the park with a clump of giant maples and their yummy, gummy bark. Fum, fo, fi, fi, you're chowing uh, down on broccoli. <gasps> Did they eat it by mistake? Say what? This isn't broccoli. It's crunchy munchy trees. And wow, they're delicious. Another helping, please. See, and that's what exactly what my kids used to call broccoli. They always called them little trees because they kind of look like trees. And it turns out broccoli was actually their favorite vegetable if they could have a favorite vegetable. So maybe you guys should try that sometime. If you don't like broccoli, you might find that it's not that bad. All right, our next song is called Horns and fangs, knees and claws, kind of like head, shoulders, knees and toes. It's going to be the same song, the same tune. Ready? We're going to start with horns, fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws, horns, fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws, eyes and ears and tail and paws. Horns, fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. All right, now we're gonna try to go a little bit faster, okay? Ready, here we go. Horns, fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Horns, fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Eyes and ears and tail and paws. Horns, fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Good job, can we go even faster? Okay, it's gonna be really fast. Here we go. Horns, fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Horns, fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Eyes and ears and tail and paws. Horns, fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Good job. That was super fast. Phew, I'm a little tired, huh? Okay, our next flannel we're gonna do are five little monsters. Can you guys see that okay? Here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, like this, five little monsters sleeping in my bed. One called out from under the spread. I called to my mama and my mama said, no more monsters sleeping in your bed. One of them crawled out. Now we have four. Four little monsters sleeping in my bed. One crawled out from under the spread. I called to my mama and my mama said, no more monsters sleeping in your bed. Now we have one, two, three. Three little monsters sleeping in my bed. 
One crawled out from under the spread. I called to my mama and my mama said, no more monsters sleeping in your bed. Now we have one, two. Two little monsters sleeping in my bed. One crawled out from under the spread. I called to my mama and my mama said, no more monsters sleeping in your bed. How many are left? One little monster. One little monster sleeping in my bed. He crawled out from under the spread. I called to my mama and my mama said, no more monsters sleeping in your bed. No more monsters sleeping in my bed, I'm all alone. That's okay. Okay, nice job, everyone. Now, I know Halloween's coming up in a few days, and I know my family and my children always have a hard time picking a costume, so they usually have a couple different costumes that they're going to wear. One to one party, one to another, one for trick-or-treating, one to see their grandma and grandpas, so that's kind of what happens with this guy. Monster needs a costume. He can't decide what costume to wear. All right, Monster needs a costume for his favorite time of year. It's nearly Halloween, he roared. The day is almost here. I said to Monster, do you know what kind you'd want to wear? An astronaut, a fireman, a giant Bartlett pear? He shook his head. I want to be a cowboy from the West and rope some desperados with a star upon my chest. He rushed to find his badge and boots, but needed more than that. We made his costume perfect with a 20 gallon hat. Monster was excited. He wore it every day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But then he changed his mind when he discovered the ballet. I know the outfit the cowboy outfit was the costume that I chose, but now I'll be a dancer and be nimble on my toes. Monster put a tutu on, pirouette, plie, pendu, and back to first position. He kept on dancing day and night until his feet were sore, but then he didn't want to be a dancer anymore. Monster took his tutu off and placed it in the drawer. He saw a ninja on TV and changed his mind once more. Now I'll be a ninja who is stealthy in the night. The sneaky kind that wears a mask and disappears from sight. Monster threw a shuto and some round kicks in the air. And then he tried to vanish, sliding underneath a chair. Like a ninja, he was quiet and pretended to be small, but spotting him was easy since he's nearly nine feet tall. Monster got discouraged and he turned into a grouch. He tossed the ninja costume and he sunk into the couch. Just then he dashed into his room. I know what I can do. And with a toothy grin, he said, I thought of something new. He quickly put his costume on and gave a huge roar. He hurtled down the steps and then he bounded out the door. From up the street and down the block, Monster was a sight. The dancing cowboy ninja was the costume of the night. So he wore all the costumes together. And he got pooped out. All right, good listening. Okay, here's my next story here. I have a spooky house. Let's take the bed off and put the spooky house up there. All right, there was an old spooky house on an old spooky hill. No one was home. No one until the little old bat, dark as night, 
moved right in. What a fright. Let's see who else wants to live in this house. There was an old spooky house on an old spooky hill. No one was home until an owl with eyes so bright moved right in. What a fright. What other spooky animals want to come into this house? There was an old spooky house on an old spooky hill. No one was home. No one until, ooh, how about this guy? I don't think I'd like to have him living in my house. A spider with fangs that bite moved right in. What a fright. There was an old spooky house on an old spooky hill. No one was home, no one until a little cat that meowed all night, meow, moved right in. What a fright. Hmm. Do you think all those animals are gonna get along in that spooky house together? I don't know, they might or they might not. Okay, now let's see. I have a few, let's close your eyes, okay everyone? Close your eyes so you can't peek. I'm going to hide something behind these doors. Okay, I don't wanna see any peeking. No peeking, keep your eyes closed. Okay, so you can all see we have five doors, green and yellow and pink and purple and white. Okay, so find something to knock on the table or the floor, all right? Knock, knock, trick or treat behind the, let's see, which door should we pick? The green door, who shall we meet? Let's see who's behind the green door. It's a bat, a bat, a spooky bat. All right, can you guys see that? There it is. All right, let's try it again. Knock, knock, trick or treat behind the yellow door, who shall we meet? Let's see, oh, it's some candy, some candy, some yummy candy. Mm, that might be something you get if you go trick-or-treating. Ready, let's try it again. Knock, knock, trick-or-treat. Behind the, what color door is this one? The pink door, who shall we meet? It's a jack-o'-lantern, a funny jack-o'-lantern. Let's try the purple door. Knock, knock, trick or treat. Behind the purple door, who shall we meet? A ghost, a ghost, a spooky ghost. Although he looks like a friendly ghost. Okay, we have one more, the white door. Knock, knock, trick or treat. Behind the white door, who should we meet? Let's see. It's the spider, the creepy crawly spider, just like the one in the haunted house. All right, good job. Okay, you guys are doing awesome. I hope you're having a good time today. We have one more story. I want you guys to help me with this one, okay? This is called the Go away, big green monster. All right. The big green monster has two big yellow eyes. A long bluish greenish nose. A big red mouth with sharp white teeth. Two little squiggly ears. Right there. Scraggly purple hair 
and a big, scary green face. But you don't scare me, so go away, scraggly purple hair. Let's go on. Can you help me with this? Say, go away, two little squiggly uh, ears. Ready? Say, go away, long bluish greenish nose. Go away, big green face. Go away, big red mouth. Ready? Everybody together, go away, sharp white teeth. Go away, two big yellow eyes. Go away, big green monster. And don't come back until I say so. Thank you, thank you guys for helping me with that, good job. All right, you guys did an awesome job at story time today. I hope you had a fun time. We're gonna do one more goodbye song, also to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle. Okay, it goes like this. Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can jump up on two shoes. I can clap and so can you. I can wave, I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. Yay, good job. Ready, let's do it again. We all heard it, now we can try it together. Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can jump up on two shoes. I can clap and so can you. I can wave, I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. All right, give yourselves a great big hand. You did awesome today. Thanks for coming, everyone, and I hope to see you soon. Um, we'll be back next week, okay? Mwah. Bye. Have a great day. Have to this, week. this is a reminder. Please remember, library.